In this lecture, I'm going to do another example of an electrochemical cell. I've drawn an electrochemical cell in front of you, and I've connected two electrodes together. One electrode has a platinum catalyst dipped in a solution containing iron 2 plus ions and iron 3 plus ions. So uh, a reversible reaction would be set up uh, in at this electrode on this platinum electrode. Remember, platinum is an inert electrode, so platinum itself would not be playing any role in the in the in this reversible reaction that is set up. Uh, it's acting as a catalyst and it's acting as an electrode. So a catalyst would not disturb the equilibrium. It won't change the position of the equilibrium. It would just make it easier for the two ions to reach equilibrium. So a reaction would occur where Fe three plus ions are going to gain electrons and they're going to form Fe two plus and vice versa. Fe two plus would lose electrons to form Fe three plus. So a reversible reaction would be established between the two ions and if uh, if iron 2 plus has a higher tendency to lose electrons so the equilibrium would shift to the left hand side vice versa if fe3 plus has a higher tendency to gain electrons the equilibrium would shift to the right hand side uh, anyways i've uh, noted down the e0 value from the data booklet as well the e0 for this particular uh, elect uh, electrode on the right hand side is 0 0.77 volts on the other side uh, side i have a gaseous fluorine which is uh, w uh, electrode which is uh, in equilibrium with fluoride ions F minus one ions. So uh, flowing gas is this is also a platinum catalyst over here. So flowing gas would be gaining electrons to form fluoride ions and fluoride ions would vice versa be oxidized and lose electrons to form fluorine. So uh, remember fluorine is very very reactive so fluorine has a very high tendency to gain electrons so we already know uh, about group 7 and fluorine it's a very electronegative element so it has a very high tendency to gain electrons which is why the E0 value for this cell is very positive so it has a very high tendency to gain electrons and when electrons would be gained the electrode would ha be deficient in electrons so it's going to be ha having a very higher potential so this side has a 2.87 volt E0 value. So uh, let me write those values down. This electrode over here has a 2.87 volt E0 value and the other side has uh, an E0 value of 0 0.77 volt. Remember as discussed earlier, uh, the lower the E0 value, lower potential, this would have a higher tendency to lose electrons or get uh, oxidized. So so the lower potential would would have a very high tendency to get oxidized and anything that's getting oxidized this would be called our uh, anode so this is our anode and the this higher potential over here would have a higher tendency to so this side is a higher potential side it would it would have a higher tendency to get reduced so it's going to get reduced and uh, the side that is getting reduced that would be called our cathode so this side here is our cathode now uh, looking back at the equations what you would notice is that uh, fluorine would be getting reduced it has a higher potential a high e0 value so it, it would have a high tendency to gain electrons so if i if i connect the two electrodes together fluorine would be the one that would be gaining electrons whereas uh, this right hand electrode which is the lower potential would have a tendency to lose electrons going to get oxidized so it's going to be producing electrons and fluorine would be the one that would be gaining electrons so electrons are going to travel from the lower potential side to the higher potential side so this is uh, the direction of the movement of electrons i'm now going to try and write the overall equation for this electrochemical cell so let's look at the two equations and let's uh, write them down in the correct order so uh, i have one electrode is it's going in the forward direction the left hand electrode which is fluorine fluorine is the one that's gaining electrons and forming fluoride ions so this is my uh, reduction side and the other side this is the oxidation side where if fe2 plus is the one that's losing electrons so let's write that down it's uh in the reverse direction because now it's once you connect the two electrodes there wouldn't be a reversible reaction the equilibrium would shift in one direction so fe2 plus is losing electrons to form fe3 plus plus electron now the electrons are not equal electrons gain and the electrons lost are not equal they should be made equal so i should multiply the second equation by by two and then i'm going to add the two equations up and that would be my overall uh, e uh, equation for the electrochemical cell so it's uh, on the left hand side i have fluorine which would be reacting with two fe2 plus ions 
So fluorine would be gaining electrons, Fe2 plus would be losing electrons, and it's going to form 2F minus 1 and Fe3 plus multiplied by 2. So, so this is my overall um, uh, equation for the electrochemical cell, and I can now calculate the E0 cell for this reaction. The E0 cell of this reaction would be E0 cell is reduction minus oxidation. So let's uh, calculate the E0 cell, what this voltmeter would show, the, the reading the voltmeter is going to show. So the E0 cell for this particular reaction, I have 0.77 volts on this side, I have 2.87 volts over. So the potential difference between the two electrodes is 2.87 minus 0 0.77 or as we discussed earlier it's the reduction side minus the oxidation side or if you if you're familiar with physics it's going to be the higher potential minus the lower potential that would give you the potential difference so it's higher potential 2.87 volts minus 0.77 volts and the value that you're going to get is 2.10 volts and that's a substantively high value which means that the reaction is going to be more than feasible it's going to be a very very fast reaction lastly i'm going to try and write the cell notation for this electrochemical cell and remember our cell notation would start from the anode side and it's going to end at the cathode side so the anode should be on the left hand side the cathode should be on the right hand side and there should be two vertical lines representing a a salt bridge. So anode in this particular case is this side. It's uh, this side. So I'm going to start with my reactants and end at the product. So my reactants in this case, the reactant is Fe2 plus. So Fe2 plus is losing electrons. So I'm going to draw a, sep uh, a vertical line again and write Fe3 plus on the other side. So Fe3 plus is my product. And then I'll have two vertical lines that would show that uh, show the salt bridge. And then I'm going to reach my cathode where uh, it's fluorine that's gaining electrons to form F-1 ion. So it's F2, that's my reactant, gaining electrons to form two F- minus ions. And we should write the states as well. So this is aqueous. This is also aqueous. Fluorine was gas and F-1 ions were also in aqueous state. So that's that's going to be my... So this over here is going to be my cell notation for this particular cell.